All right, my friends, we're starting off laying down on the floor. So lay on your back, close your eyes, and just begin to transition into practice mode where we're really focused on what's happening right here, right now. Allow your inhales to be really big, puffing your chest open, puffing your belly open. Allow your exhales to be very strong, okay? Pulling the belly button in towards your spine, pulling the rib cage inward to squeeze and clean all the air out. And then try to keep that big breath going, okay? Big inhales and big exhales. And then as much as you can, keep that long, slow vibe for your breath as we begin to notice how your body is feeling, okay? So keep that breath and then start to notice physical sensations. And hopefully you notice that just as a natural result of being still here and slowing down, you have more relaxation in your body. You're able to drop the shoulder blades. You're able to relax your belly and your face. Okay, having brought some awareness to your breath and then to your body, notice now your thoughts. Whatever you notice, whatever kind of thoughts you see, look with compassion and maybe fascination as well. Breathing in, noticing this moment. Breathing out, what a wonderful moment. And by simply bringing your awareness to this present moment, you can cultivate a sense of peace and harmony with what is. And I think that's a great way to begin any yoga practice or anything at all. So please keep your awareness on breath and body. And let's start to move. We'll bring in some gentle movement here. Okay, we'll do snow angel arms exactly like it sounds. Okay, sweep your snow angel wings out to the side and then overhead, making a big shape. And then sweep your snow angel wings back down by your sides, trying to keep them on the ground the whole time. And then we'll do it again. Inhale, snow angel wings go up and over your head. And exhale to bring your wings down. So we'll do a few just like that. And you'll just find your own comfortable pace. Inhale up. And exhale down. Okay, finding that as you continue to move like this, you're getting some warmth built up in your shoulders and you're feeling your back wake up as well. But we also have this really nice spreading open feeling across the chest. We have a big spacious chest. Kind 
stretching open, doming upward toward the ceiling. Okay, and next time you reach your hands up, let's just pause right there. Okay, and make sure that even though your arms are reaching up over your head on the floor, you have a long neck. So your shoulder blades are moving away from your ears and you still got that nice long neck that we want in just about every yoga posture. And your inhale with here is gonna reach out through your fingers and toes like you just wanted to stretch. And then with your exhale, bring those knees, both knees into your chest. Okay, just bring them in. You can reach your hands for each shin and then see if you could curl your head and shoulders up so that your forehead comes towards your knees and vice versa. So you're making a tiny ball. And then we're gonna stretch out again, nice and long in the floor. Big breath in to stretch out. Big exhale to pull those knees in. Forehead towards your knees. Okay, let's take a few more just like that. So nice and easy. And if you decide that lifting your head and shoulders doesn't feel right, then you just do your knees and you just bring your knees in. And you could just do it that way, okay? So always feel free to modify these movements that I'm suggesting to you. Let's do it three more times. We're warming up your hip flexors, your abdominals, your core. Two more times. One last time. Now let's see if we could hold this one. Okay, a little bit of a challenge. Bring those knees in towards your nose. Okay, maybe you have your head on the floor for this, but we're gonna squeeze the knees in and breathe. So holding and breathing here. Maybe one more long, slow breath right here. And then let it go. Okay, allow your feet to drop to the floor by your hips. Your head comes down. And you can just go ahead and drop your hands to the floor by your hips as well. Okay, friends, let's get into some bridges next. So we warmed up your back and shoulders. We warmed up your abdominals and your hip flexors, okay, some of your core. Now let's warm up your legs, your glutes, and a bit more in your back body. So before we start to move, we need to uh, think about alignment here. It's always helpful to align before we even start to move. So just take a quick look at your knees and make sure they're a hip width apart and there's a little space between them, like a tennis ball of space. But then I want you to imagine that you're holding that tennis ball between your knees. So the knees are actually engaging inward, but there's still space between them. So you're gonna feel your legs get nice and strong when you do that. And you're also gonna feel your core turn on, okay? And that's what we want. So keep that tennis ball and with your inhale, peel your tailbone up off the floor. Go ahead and point it up. And you're going to lift one vertebra at a time up toward the ceiling. Okay, just take your hips as high as you like. And then with your exhale, think of rolling one vertebra at a time back to the floor. And so I just want you to find a little pace here. Just inhale, roll it up. And exhale, roll it down. Nice and snaky. So make that spine like a snake. Inhale, snake it up. Exhale and snake it down. So keep going. And if you get tired and you need a little break, maybe you just take your hips halfway up, okay? But make sure your nose is pointing up and your knees are still holding that imaginary tennis ball. And next time you come up, let's hold the bridge up for a little while. Okay, hold that bridge. So come on up and breathe. Now I'm gonna give you some options. 
So first of all, if you need a break, you're just gonna bring your hips back down. But if all is going well, point that nose up. Okay, make sure we have that tennis ball between the knees still. And you're gonna feel your hamstrings and your glutes really turning on, okay? Now it's possible here that you can touch your fingers underneath your back together and interlace your fingers. And then from there, if you have those fingers interlaced, you might even tuck your shoulder blades up underneath your heart, giving yourself a nice stretch across the fronts of your shoulders. Nice big breath here. All right, friends, maybe one more big breath here in your bridge pose, strengthening your back body, opening the front. And as you're ready, release your hands if you join them and roll your spine, sneaky, slow, all the way back down. All right, when that tailbone reaches the floor, you can go ahead and soften your knees. We'll walk the feet away from each other. Okay, take your arms out to the sides and we're gonna windshield wiper these knees side to side, just taking it slowly to one side, slowly to the other. Okay, side to side. So waking up a little bit more in your hips now. We have inner and outer hip waking up. We have the low back too, gently twisting. And you might get some pops and crackles here. And in general, that's okay if it feels okay. If you ever have a, a stressful or bad feeling on the mat, you're just gonna back off right away. We don't wanna ever feel stress or strain on this mat. Okay, from here, next time your knees point up, Let's pause in there, okay? And then go ahead and get your feet up off the floor and put your knees together. Now your arms are already out to the side in this cactus shape, okay? I call it a cactus because you got your elbows bent and your hands are on the floor. And now we've got these knees floating in the air. So could we keep the arms on the floor? So we're trying our best to keep the upper body stable and we're gonna move the knees side to side. So think of hovering your, knee, your knees to one side, not all the way down to the floor, bringing them through center and hovering them to the other side. Nice and slow. So let's try that again. Inhale through center. Exhale, hover the knees. Maybe look away from your knees so you get that twist up your spine. Inhale through center. And exhale, hover them to the other side, look away. So what we've done here is we've moved this twist a little further up your spine and now we're twisting the whole thing, okay? So take a few more breaths here, side to side. Feeling some nice spaciousness across your chest. Nice movement in your spine, massaging all your organs. All right, beautiful people. <clears throat> Next time your knees drop over to the right, let's let them fall all the way to the floor and then allow your whole body to turn and face that direction as well. So you're lying on your right side, okay? And take a little time here, you have time, but I wanna get us into a very nice left side stacked over right side kind of position. I call it a sandwich shape, okay? So you can imagine that the two halves of your body are stacked like two slices of bread and the left shoulder is stacked over the right shoulder, left hip over right hip, OK? 
Okay, even your knees and your hands are stacked. Now, something that I notice when I'm in this position is my spine tends to collapse and kind of sag toward the floor. Maybe you notice the same thing, okay? If that's the case, <clears throat> we need to lengthen the spine. So we need to lift the right side a little bit. You can think of it like a little mouse hole. We need just enough space for a mouse to be able to crawl under your right side. So lift that side a little bit, keep the spine long. And from there, we'll start to twist even more deeply, this time more into your upper body. So we can start by taking the left fingers on the floor and keep your left arm nice and long and straight and do your best to keep the fingers on or close to the floor if you could. As you use the left hand to draw a half circle, a big half circle over your head on the floor, okay? At the end of your half circle, you'll be reaching all the way out to the left and you can pause. And then you're exhaling to bring it all the way back around, bringing your half circle back overhead the way you came. Let's try it a few more times. Inhale, half circle opens up, twisting to the left, open up your chest. Exhale, half circle closes up. Okay, now keep going. Just find a rhythm. Maybe close your eyes here and just enjoy that nice movement in your spine. See if you could notice a big spaciousness in your whole rib cage as you inhale. and strength in your belly when you exhale. Okay, when we strengthen those belly muscles, what we're doing is we're giving the low back some really good support. And so now let's just enjoy this twist that we've cultivated. So next time you open up and you look to the left, just pause there and breathe. Okay, reaching out to the left with your left hand, you're looking to the left and your knees are still pointed to the right. So we have this beautiful twist here. Breathe deeply, big inhales, doming your chest as if you wanted to lift your rib cage up off the floor here. And exhales into that strong belly muscle. Maybe two more breaths here. Just find a moment of stillness, settling in, finding even more length in your spine than we had before. All right, letting this twist go. As you're ready, let's bring the knees through center. <clears throat> okay, and then very simple, just drop the knees to the left here. You might have to scoot your hips a little to the right. Okay, hips to the right, knees to the left. And just like we did on the other side, turn to face the left here. So you're on your left side. Okay, and get nice and neat in your sandwich shape. This time the right hip and shoulder are stacking over the left. And we want that left side arching up away from the floor. So we want that little mouse hole of space to keep the spine long. Now the right fingers will be drawing the, circle, the half circle over your head. So right fingers on the floor, big half circle as you inhale to reach to the right. And coming back the way you came in, exhaling to reach to the left. So let's take a few rounds just like that. Nice and easy, inhale, open. And 
and exhale, closed. Okay, as you move and enjoy all the spaciousness in the right side of your chest and rib cage, especially. See if you could tune in to some extra expansion happening there. And do your best to keep those right fingers close to the floor so that we get that shoulder range of motion nice and open. Okay, friends, next time you open up and you're in your twist, you're reaching to the right, let's pause it there and just enjoy it. Big inhales. Okay, as you inhale, think of lifting your chest up off the floor. Your shoulders are still down, but your rib cage wants to lift and that's gonna give you that extra spaciousness. With your exhales, work those strong belly muscles to keep the low back nice and safe. And take a few more breaths here, enjoying it. Maybe one more. All right, friends, and then nice and easy, bring those legs back into center. Okay, and maybe a few more windshield wipers, just shaking out your knees side to side with them. Okay, notice how your spine is feeling now. Hopefully we feel nice and massaged up and down the length of the spine. We feel more open in the chest, okay, the neck. Okay, let's get a little bit more into each hip and each leg. So next time your knees point up, let's just pause them there. And we'll bring the right knee in, just the right knee closer towards your chest. You bend that right knee and bring it in. And you could take your hands with fingers interlaced, either behind the thigh there, or if your knee is very happy today, you can reach forward and grab the shin, but it's really whatever feels best, okay? Once you have your right knee in your hands, some kind of way, gently hug it toward the center of your chest, okay? And this can be very gentle. You don't have to crank it just something that feels nice. And we'll spend several breaths here. So you have lots of time to sink into this, this posture. After you've hugged your knee inward a little bit, also begin to lift your, your uh, sternum, the center of your chest, lift it up towards your knee as well. You'll feel your shoulder blades go down when you do that. And that's what we're looking for and breathe. Breathing in, breathing out. So hopefully you're feeling some very pleasant release in your right hip flexor. If you feel pain, you know that you're gonna back off right away. If everything's going great, you can hug the knee a little closer and lift your heart a little higher and you can also give yourself some resistance. So you can attempt to pull the knee away from you as you pull it in. So you'll find if you add a little resistance to this posture, it changes how it feels in the hip flexor. So you can experiment with that. Breathe deeply. We'll take a few more here, getting into that right hip.
Taking your last breath here in this yummy hip release, low back release as well. And then expand that knee out away from you. Okay, expand the leg upward. Should feel nice after having it flexed for so long. And take your hands behind the thigh if they weren't already. Okay, interlaced fingers on that big hamstring muscle. You can feel it under your hands. So let's start off by putting a nice flex in your ankle. Okay, as if the toes wanted to reach down for your nose and right away, you'll feel your calf on the right side getting a nice opening and the front of your leg getting a little bit of strength, okay? Now, could you keep your ankle flex as you fine tune how much you want to extend the right knee or bend it? You can bend it as much as you want. Okay, but the idea is we wanna get into your hamstring a little bit behind your right thigh. So ex extend that, that knee by pushing that heel upward just enough for you. And then you're gonna, just like we did before, you're gonna hug that knee towards your chest and lift your chest towards your knee and we'll hold it here. So now we're in your hamstring and I just want you to breathe and be gentle and we'll spend some time here. Breathing in, breathing out, giving it time, giving that posture time just to settle in. So after a few seconds here, you may notice that you could lift your heel a little higher, maybe flex the ankle a little more. And perhaps as you move that knee inward, Okay, with your arms, maybe you, again, you try to resist your arms. You try to pull the knee away and you can play around with how that feels, adding resistance. We'll take a few more breaths here in that hamstring. Now, if you are a cyclist or a walker, okay, or a jogger, you might have some tight IT bands and we can address that here very simply by moving the right knee a little bit to the left, I'd say an inch or two inches would be fine. And we wanna keep that right hip on the floor. That's very important. But then we can find some nice length on the side of the right leg, IT. We have some outer hip and glute available there. Just breathing into that extra space. Remember to lift that chest and pull that knee. One more really big breath here. And then release that, that right leg. Okay, you can let it go. We're gonna make a figure four shape out of it now. So bending that right knee, allow your right heel to stack itself on top of that left knee. And then the right knee just naturally drops away from you. And if you look at your legs, they're in this funky figure four shape. So that's where we'll be for a few more minutes. So go ahead and take your time settling in and take your hands down by your, or out by your sides in a, a cactus shape. So cactus arms, figure four legs. Take a moment here, just moving that right knee away from you. All right, so notice as you move the right knee away, what you've got to do is you're, you're obliged to use your right outer hip to do that, okay? And that way, using that right outer hip, the right inner hip has a chance to let go. So let's see if we could crystallize this figure four shape in the legs using that right outer hip to release the inner hip. And from there, we'll start to twist the legs, keeping the figure four shape allow them to go over to the right, okay, twisting, and then through center, allow them to twist over to the left. So funky figure four twist. You could think of inhaling through center and exhaling, dropping the legs to the other side. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Inhale through center, exhale to twist. 
Keep it going, find a rhythm. So maybe you notice, I sure do, it's challenging to keep the figure four shape while you're moving, but do your best. No challenge. Okay, and just take a few more. Allowing that right inner hip chance to let go. Remember to look away from your knees so you get that twist that rolls all the way up and down your spine. Okay, friends, next time your knees drop over to the right. Let's pause there. So you're still in the figure four shape, okay? The right leg has now contacted the floor and we'll keep it there. We're just really going to change one thing here. We're just going to move the left foot over to the left until that left knee drops as low as you want it to drop. So you can kind of decide. Alrighty, and your right foot is still hooked on your left knee, kind of gently moving it downward. So let's take some time just to breathe here. Look over to the left. Continue to lift your heart up off the floor here because we're twisting. We want that big chest. And if you tend to want a little more in your hips here, your inner and outer hip, you could think of dropping that left knee lower. Okay, but if that's too much, you'll think of lifting the left knee instead. Breathe here. Big inhales, big exhales. All right, taking your last long, slow, big breath here. And this really gentle twist. And let's bring the figure four shape through center. So see if you could go back to the figure four shape as you rock the knees into center. Okay, pause here. We're going to keep the right foot on top of the left knee, okay? We may need to walk the left foot back to center a little bit to come back where we started. But now we're gonna drop the knees over to the left, keeping that figure four shape and pause here just to enjoy it. So the left leg has fallen to the floor and that right foot is still hooked on the left knee, okay? The right foot doesn't have to touch the floor. Just make sure it's on your left knee, it's hooked. And from there, we can activate that right outer hip, okay? We can move the right knee away and you can get that nice opening in your hip, okay? In that right inner hip. So let's breathe here. Looking to the right, away from the knees. Big breath in as you lift your chest. Big exhales as you strengthen your belly. Close your eyes here. Okay, you should be having some really nice opening for not just the right inner hip, but maybe up into your low back, you feel it on the right side. And the more you move the right knee away from you, the more deep the opening will be. So if you feel too much, you just move that right knee back closer toward you, okay? <laughs> so you can kind of play around with where you wanna be there. Taking some nice time here.
Let's do one more long, slow breath into the chest and into the belly. As you're ready, rock that figure four shape back up and into center. Okay, and now finally, let's get that right foot back on the floor and we can windshield wiper the knees here, just shaking out your hips. Wow, that was a journey on the right side. Okay, just feel it out. How's the low back on the right side? How's the hip? Notice the differences between left and right. So let's do the other side. Everything the same on the left. Next time your knees point up, pause it there. We'll pick the left knee up and you could take your hands behind that left thigh. Or if you have a very happy knee today, you can take your fingers interlaced over your shin, but it's up to you. Either way, trap that leg and then start to pull that knee in toward the center of your chest. And you know we'll be here for some time, so there's no rush to settle in. Okay, begin to lift your heart up toward the knee as you pull the knee toward your chest. Almost like they're trying to meet in the middle. You'll notice your shoulder blades pressing down and that's ideal. Okay, breathing into that left hip flexor. What do we notice about the differences between right and left? Always important to notice differences without judgment. Maybe the left side is easier. Maybe it's much more sticky. Who knows? No matter what, we're going to be gentle and explore with compassion. So perhaps you decide that you'd like to feel a little more opening in that left inner hip, hip flexor, and you can start to resist your hands. So the knee will try to pull away as the hands pull it close. You can experiment with that. Keep lifting that heart. Okay, taking your last breath here in this left hip flexor, inner hip opener, maybe even getting into the left outer hip. And then we're gonna slowly expand that leg outward. Ah. Okay, start to press the heel up toward the ceiling. And so we want a nice flex in the ankle and you can have your fingers interlaced behind that thigh, okay? On your big hamstring muscle, you can feel it. So let's get a nice flex going in the ankle so we feel that calf opening and we can always make the flex deeper or shallower if we need to adjust that. Okay, there's one angle we can adjust. And then we're also adjusting the knee angle. We can make the bend deeper or we can extend it a more. So you're going to take a moment just to find out what that is for you. And then just like before, you're moving the knee towards your heart as you lift your heart towards the knee. So in the hamstring now, let's hold and breathe. It should be a pleasant release, no pain, no stress. Lifting the heart up, pulling the knee in. So if you feel here, 
that you want to add resistance, then you could experiment with that. You could start to try to move the knee away from you as you pull it close and you'll feel the difference, okay? Working with resistance and working without, quite different. Okay, another aspect that we can play with as we take some more time here is getting into the left IT band, maybe outer hip, by grounding that left hip and moving the left knee a little bit to the right, I'd say two inches would be quite enough and hold it right there. So that knee is just about over your belly button. Breathe here. Okay, take your last breath here in that left hamstring, maybe extend the knee and press the heel a little more since we're quite open here. And then release that leg. Take your arms out to the sides in a cactus shape. And let's build a figure four with the left leg, the foot, left foot hooked on top of that right knee. So take some time settling into your figure four. So we wanna start activating that left outer hip here, moving the left knee as if away from your nose, okay? That left inner hip should uh, feel nice and open and spacious here as we kind of open it to the ceiling. So lock in, crystallize your figure four shape and we'll start to drop the knees side to side. So figure four twist, knees go to one side, keep the figure four through center, knees go to the other side as you keep the figure four. Okay, through center and over. So close your eyes here, find a little rhythm as you go side to side. Bringing out your spine even more, bringing fresh circulation to all your organs and your tissues and recalibrating all those vertebrae and the ribs. Nice gentle twist. And keep your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. All right, friends, time to just enjoy and be still in this twist for a little bit. So the next time your knees go over to the left, let's just pause them there, keep the figure four. So as the left thigh kind of drops toward the floor, you'll notice the left ankle stays stacked on the right knee. And we'll just change the right leg, walking that right foot over to the right, until that right knee comes as low as you want it to come, okay? You can always lift or lower it to adjust. So you'll feel it in that right hip. Okay, we'll take some time just breathing here. You're looking to the right. Breathing deeply, okay? You can lower the right knee if you want more into the hip. Big breath into your chest. Big exhales into your belly here.
Taking your last breath here in this nice little twist. Bring your legs through center and then reestablish that figure four shape just for a moment. You may walk the right foot closer in so that it's under your right knee here, okay, back at center. And then let's take the figure four shape over to the right. Drop that right knee and uh, thigh to the floor and notice that your left foot is still hooked on that right knee very conveniently. Okay, allowing you to move the left knee away from your nose and get into the left inner hip. So let's look over to the left here and take some time breathing in this twist. Remember, you can make each posture just what you need it to be by deepening the opening or softening it. Okay, hopefully feeling that left inner hip kind of relax and fall open away from the ceiling here. So nice spaciousness. Let's take one more long, luxurious breath here. From here, friends, rock those figure four legs back up and into center. Ah, and then finally, let's get the left foot back on the floor. One last time, windshield wipering out your legs just to feel out the hips and the low back. Hopefully feeling a sense of balance here from right to left hip. Okay, equal spaciousness, equal softness. And then go ahead and just extend your legs. Take them out nice and long. And extend your arms up overhead too. So you're in this really long shape again. And from here, we'll enjoy a really great side stretch. So very simply, slide your legs out to the right here. You're just gonna take both legs out to the right and nice and long, make sure both glutes are on the floor. So that left glute is still on the floor. And then both arms out to the right as well. So making sure both shoulder blades are on the floor, very important. So now that you've slid everything over to the right, you're noticing this long left side shape and that's what we're going for. Okay, you could call this a banana pose or a crescent pose but ground that left hip and shoulder and then breathe deeply into the left side. We'll take some time here. Big breaths into your left rib cage and armpit. And make sure you're drawing that belly button downward toward the floor here so that your low back doesn't just try to absorb everything. It's kind of an overachiever. For your next few breaths here, if you'd like to move a little more deeply into the side stretch, you can stack your left ankle over your right, okay? And you can use your right hand to move the left wrist a little further over to the right. Big breath here into that left armpit.
Maybe one more breath here in your banana pose. Okay, start to, no rush, but start to bring your arms and legs back through center. And we'll just do this banana pose on the other side. So the legs will slide out to the left. Make sure that right glute stays on the floor, okay? And then arms slide out to the left as well, making sure that right shoulder blade stays on the floor. And we'll take some time to breathe into the right side. Drop the belly button toward the floor if you can. Keep the low back a little bit neutral. And breathe deeply. Big inhales. Big exhales. You feel that right side spreading open. And if you want for the next few breaths to deepen that opening, you could take the right ankle and stack it on the left and use that left hand to guide the right wrist a little further to the left. So deepening the armpit and the low back opening. Nice breath. Take your last breath here in banana pose. And then make your way back to center with your arms and legs. You could take your hands down by your side here and just rest in Shavasana, okay? We made it to resting time. So here at the very end of your practice, we're gonna do the opposite of what we did when we started. We're going to release all control over the breath and just let it become wild and free, natural, effortless breath. No longer controlling the length and the depth of the breath, just notice how it feels now. Allow your body to do the same. Release all effort, all control in your body. No longer activating or resisting or doing anything at all. Just being in your body. Let your face grow softer, especially your jaw, your forehead and your eyes. Any tension in your body just melts away here into the floor. Watch your thoughts come and go like clouds. Feel the breath coming and going and listen to it sound. And just enjoy being present in this moment with everything that is right now. Finding peace and harmony, just being here. So beautiful people, please keep resting here for as long as you can.
just like this. If you could take a nap, that would be the best. But this is where I'll leave you for our practice today. Thank you so much for joining me.